Welcome to my latest video. This time around, we're going to take a base install of Pop! OS, and we're going to move the home directory to a new drive. So moving it to its own partition on a separate drive. To give you a little frame of reference, what we've got going on right now, we have everything mounted on a single mount point. We're going to shut down the virtual machine. We're going to add a drive. We'll mount it. We'll move the home directory to the new drive, and we will make sure it all works after we restart after making those changes. So let's get this moving. The first thing we need to do is to shut down the system. So we're going to come here to hardware. And this is the part that would be the same as installing a physical hard drive or solid state drive in an actual system. For a virtual machine, all we have to do is add a hard disk. We're going to call this a SATA drive. We're going to put this on VMs, which is my solid state drive, and we're going to turn on SSD emulation, and we're going to say add. And just like that, we're ready to restart the system. And then we can move on to our next step. All right, we'll log back in again. And reopen our terminal. Okay, if we do LSBLK for list block devices, we can see that we do in fact now have SDB available and it's a 32 gigabyte disk. So it's the same size as the disk that the whole system has been running off from. We also want to do df-h slash home. And again, this is just an alternative way to show you where this disk is mounted. And that's part of the root partition. Okay. So now we're going to run fdisk. And this is a menu driven utility, uh, very old. You could, in fact, use cfdisk or any of a number of other utilities to accomplish the same task. Since this video is actually following along from an article on OS Technics, I am going to use the instructions there and just follow along. So sudo fdisk dev sdb. And of course, enter your password. Okay, so we need to hit M gets you the menu or help and shows the different options. So N for new partition. It's going to be a primary partition. Partition number one, we're going to accept the first and last sector. So just hit enter and enter. And then we want to hit W to write the changes to disk. Okay, so we can verify the size of the new partition with LSBLK again. And it does in fact show as a 32 gigabyte partition. Now we are going to format it. So sudo make fs ext4 slash dev slash sdb1. We're going to make a new folder or directory in the slash mount directory. And then we will mount the new partition there. So sudo make dir mount home underscore move. And that's good. Sudo mount dev sdb1 mount 
home underscore move. And of course we can check this with mount and the very bottom item shows us our new drive is mounted. We can also check it with lsblk and it is not only showing up as sdb the partition is sdb1 and the current mount point is and the current mount point is slash mount slash home underscore move okay so that's all great so now we want to use our sync to copy everything in the home directory over to mount slash home underscore move. So we'll use rsync dash av slash home slash star space slash mount slash home underscore move and I miss sudo on the front of it. And this will take just a moment or two. Okay, so we have synced that over. So next we want to move the slash home folder or directory to slash home underscore old. So sudo move Okay, and then if we do ls dash l slash home, no such file or directory. And that is what we want. So we're going to create a new home directory to mount the new drive. So sudo mictor slash home. We need to unmount the new drive from the current mount point. So we're going to say sudo umount dev sdb1. And then we're going to mount it to slash home. sudo mount dev sdb1 slash home. No error message, so we should be good, but let's verify. lsblk dev sdb. And we can see that sdb1 has the mount point of home. The next thing we want to do is make a backup of the existing fs tab file. So we're going to copy that to fs tab underscore old. And then we're going to edit that file, the, the original file. sudo nano etsy fs tab. And we're going to come to the bottom of the file and we're going to say slash dev slash sdb1 space slash home space ext4 defaults zero space zero and of course if you really want to you can tab that out so that it lines up a little better but that's completely optional so we want to save the file say yes now is the acid test if we reboot the system and everything comes up, then we've succeeded in our endeavors to move the home directory to a separate hard drive. While this is booting up, it's important to note that this procedure 
while I'm carrying it out on a virtual machine, it is exactly the same process on a physical machine with the exception of how the drive was added in a, in a physical sense. So with a virtual machine, you just add a new drive. With the physical machine, you have to actually open the case, put the new drive in, and then you can continue on with the process that we carried out here. And we have a working system. The other thing I want to point out in all this is that this procedure, while I'm using Pop! OS for this particular demonstration, the sequence of commands and how you'd go about this are going to be the same on other Debian-based Linux distributions. You may have to make some slight modifications for other distributions such as Red Hat based or Arch based or others. But for Debian based systems, this should work across the board. So we jump here, we've got home. And if we open our terminal back up and do ls block, we can see that we've got SDA1 is our root partition, SDB1 is our home partition. And so this just makes things a lot easier if you decide, oh, I don't want to run Pop! OS anymore. I'm going to install Mint or Elementary OS or one of the Ubuntu variations, then you could reinstall on the main drive. Your files are all going to be intact because they're on a separate drive. And as you use Linux more, this becomes more and more handy. Also, if you want to just back up your home folder, then you can do that easily. And that's going to bring us to the end of another video. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate all the support for the channel and the generally positive feedback I've been getting lately. So thank you for that. I, I want to give a shout out to uh, viewers in India. India continues to be in the top five countries watching my videos. So thank you all. And if you could take a moment before you go and click the like button and maybe leave me some comments down in the comment section. That would be greatly helpful going forward. And until next time, thank you once again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.